Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're back in variant eight. As you can see, we're going into chapter three, quest number one. We're almost done. We've got this quest, and we've got one more quest, and we're fully completed with variant eight. All right? So if you've been following, you know that these first uh, fights have a crossfight ability, okay? Starlight Acrobatics is the uh, crossfight ability for this particular one. So what you want to do, there is a little bit of a strategy. Uh, look at the crossfight ability and also look at the path. So the crossfight ability may or may not be all that useful to you, depending on who you're coming in here with. Uh, sometimes I've ignored the crossfight ability. It just wasn't helpful. Okay. Um, but who you choose to do that first fight with can be very useful. If you watched my last video, you saw that uh, I used Hit Monkey because it gave him the ability to put poisons on my opponent, which was very useful for him. Okay, so I used him to do that first fight. All right, now here's the path. What you want to do after you look at the first fight and you see what the crossfight ability is, do not forget to then look at the path nodes. You'll find that on the next opponent after the first one that's actually on the path, okay? And you can see what Domino is doing to this path. So I think it's pretty clear why I chose this particular path as my easy path. So if you have the same team and you have the Domino Trinity, which is Red Hulk and Masakri Synergy, this path I think is the easiest. Parry heavy, you're golden. I want you to count sometimes how many heavy attacks uh, I ended up using with Domino. Now, I just switched over to the uh, seven star Domino and she's not even awakened. And I want you to notice something that I'm doing because I hadn't been doing that right in the beginning, but you'll notice that I'm holding my heavy attack. Go back and look at the nodes if you wanna see what the node had to say about that. However, the reason I'm doing that is because you get more damage the more you charge up that heavy attack. Okay, so watch. Now, the fact that I have Masakri with Domino means that I'm going to have an extra second. And that translates to more charging up time. Look at my Furies, okay? So you hold your heavy, you start building up Furies. If you have Masakri, you're gonna get more Furies so that when you finally release that heavy attack, you're gonna have the Furies plus the damage. And you can see she is devastating on this path. Doesn't matter if it's a seven star, doesn't matter if it's a five star, doesn't matter if she's awakened or not. She is going to be your MVP for this path. If you have the five star, six star, seven star, bring her and bring those other synergies, even if you have low level synergies. Now against um, Groot here, Look at that. Uh, Groot shrugs off debuffs faster. And because I have Masakri, I'm still going to get a good amount of time to build up those Furies. And you can see what happened. Now we come to the last path. I mean, the last fight on the path. And they usually try to make the last fight a little challenging. Now, you notice where a lot of uh, Domino's uh, damage was coming from. It was coming from her incinerates. Well, this Iceman, by the way, this is a buffed up Iceman. Um, he is not the Iceman that he was when this first came out. They buffed him up, he is awesome now. He has more immunity, but uh, I believe he was always immune to uh, incinerate. Um, that's gonna make the fight take a little bit longer because I don't have any incinerate damage, you know, 
I'm trying to bait this special out of him. All right, there we go. He was playing a little coy. And I'm basically just trying to do as much damage. I know this fight's going to take a little bit longer with her. Um, I could have gone in with uh, Hitmonk. Now, I got clipped there. It happens. Um, I'm going a little bit more aggressive now because I'm thinking that that cold snap is going to take me out. All right, so you see I'm just going all in, but I was left with 20% of my health. So I'm like, all right, I got enough health. Now, this is my five-star, Kadushi. Okay, he's down, and now we have the uh, boss. Uh, just a, a word of caution again. Um, look at the nodes. Read the nodes. Now, uh, I don't remember if it was this one or not. I've mentioned this in previous videos, but there was a Langer node that ripped me up. I saw a vision on that path and it reminded me of the uh, Langer node where I dashed back at the wrong time. He hit me with a special one, drained my power to zero, and I died. It was not fun. Um, I had to restart. All right, so we're at the boss here. All right, so you don't want to nullify um, if you can help it. Um, you don't want to purify, I should say. Uh, her special attacks are passively unblockable. Doesn't really matter. Heavy attacks are not interrupted. You just need to know that. Her being aggressive actually helps you out. Now, She-Hulk is an old champion. People forgot she was even in the game. Did you see how I skillfully ran into her fist? Yes, I skillfully ran into her fist. I tried to do, um, <laughs> I tried to intercept and she was like, no, I got something for you. And she did what I believe is called a standing intercept. She just waited for me and just said, pow, <laughs> that's it. So I'm just like, oh, okay. That's, that's how you want to play it. And I said, nah, Hitmonkey ain't going down like that. No, sir. Uh-uh. So, because she has been in the game for so long, everybody should have had plenty of practice fighting her by this time. So, the nodes, very easy to play around. Um, if you know how, you can intercept her, uh, and bam, she's down. You can evade her specials, very easy to evade. You shouldn't have any difficulty with this boss. Honestly, I found this really fun. It was a really fun um, variant to do. Now, part of that, of course, is that I out-level the content. By the time I went back in here, I was uh, way more powerful than uh, the content was originally designed to deal with. But I still would have had fun anyway. I would have brought in Hit Monkey. I would have just brought in my five stars. And it, the fights would have been a little bit longer, but they would have still been fun. I can see that. You know, um, I might have had to use uh, a few more uh, items or revives or something like that, you know, because you get caught, you're going to take more damage as a five star than you would as a six or a seven star. Uh, but other than that, um, I hope that this has helped you guys out when you do your own run. Uh, just look at the paths. Make sure that you bring in a team. I recommend this team here. But if you have a Deadpool, look at the global node. I did not have a ranked up Deadpool. And since I already outgrew the content, I wanted to make it just a little bit you know, challenging. But people who had Deadpool, whether you have a red Deadpool or a Deadpool X-Force or a gold pool, platinum pool, I think all of those pools, um, they were very safe and fun to play. I've watched people, I didn't do it, but I watched people use one of those Deadpools in these quests. And he's definitely going to be your MVP if you have him and he's nicely ranked up and all of that. Very, very good option. Uh, this quest was pretty much made for him. All right. But anyway, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. 
feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Give me questions. Ask me questions. Um, if I don't answer, if I don't see your question, I can't answer it. But if I see your question, I'm probably going to respond. Um, look in the description of the video and you will see a link to my Discord. Join the Discord. You can ask questions there. There are many more people who will answer your question. If I see your question there, I'm going to answer it as well. Uh, so you can get a lot of help for a lot of things. All right. So take care. Hit the like button. Don't forget that like button. It really does help me out. Helps YouTube remember that I'm here so they can advertise my uh, video. All right. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.